Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Vlogs. And today we are gonna take a walk down memory lane on my very first comic book called If I Were a Serial Killer. And the reason we're doing this is I wanna share with you um, how I got my comics into Jim Hanley's in the first place when I had no idea even how to make a comic book. So yeah, so here we go. The very first thing I did is, well, A, I shopped at Jim Hanley's Forbidden Planet and uh, St. Mark's Comics in, when I lived in New York, and I loved it. I knew by, you know, like, the comics that I loved, because I liked um, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac and Lenore, some Ariel Shrag books, um, just a myriad of, like, little independent comics, and I knew that I could do that, too, so I just did it, so... <laughs> Um, at my job, I had a, like a little office job in Brooklyn, and I didn't have very much work when I first started, like for the first year. And so I just started writing and drawing, and so I started sketching out these pages. And these are the actual art that I did, and the actual size. Again, I knew that this wasn't like, you know, right, but I knew that I could make something out of it. I'm hoping my camera's focusing good enough. So, and then this is the picture that is on my channel art page right there. So, yeah. So, these are them. <laughs> and, oh, it's, this is what I was talking about yesterday, that they just need to be redone because I'm, like, not feeling it anymore. But, yeah. So, these were the original pages that I did. And then I was pretty happy with the way they came out. And then I wrote the little poem that went with it. And I uploaded everything into, I think, honestly, it was Print Shop at the time. Um, it's like a greeting card, um, like, program software that you could get for your computer at the time. And instead of making greeting cards, I made a book. <laughs> so, again, not knowing what to do. I uploaded it and made them so I could get two books. Or th Actually, this is two covers. And then... I just did them. I uploaded them like this. I know this makes no sense whatsoever, but that's how I did it. And then I had to cut each one of these out, fold them in half. I had to trim them, trim them, trim them, trim them. It was like a pain in the butt, but it was my first comic book and that's how I did it. Um, again, no idea what, who, when, I do not know how I even thought I could sell this. Then after I got it trimmed and everything, I put it, this is an old one, so don't judge me on all the scrubbies right here because I had to dig this out. Again, this was my bestseller, so I don't have a lot of these left. And so this is what I did. So I just cut them out and stapled them. Let's find my middle page here. Just stapled them here. And that was my first book. This was my first comic book and you'll see TV fish that was my married name I'm not married anymore and another reason why I want to redo this so yeah that was it it was my first my first little comic book now from there I thought this is very cute and I had gone into again Jim Hanley's Jim Hanley's at the time, I don't know if they still are because I haven't lived in Brooklyn since 2000, uh, I can't remember, 2000? I think we moved at the end of 2000. I lived there for three years. I moved in 97, I believe. 96? 97. Whatever. So anyway, I've seen a lot of these. A lot of independent um, comic book artists, they have like a whole, they had a whole rack at Jim Hanley's at the time and I'm like, I could so get that in. So I wrote them a letter, um, emailed them actually, and I got this reply back <laughs> from them, their MSN thing, and I printed it out, and let me read it to you. It says, Dear Miss Vonderheide, I am sorry if we have given you the mis the misperception that we seek to support small press publishers. Our only interest is providing our customers with great comics that will make them want to shop here for the rest of their lives. If I Were a Serial Killer definitely qualifies as such a comic book, though. We would be glad to carry it and recommend it to our customers. I can't imagine why uh, Dan Vado wouldn't have wanted to sign you up, but I am sure it would prove to be his loss. And that goes back because I submitted this to Slave Labor at the time, and we'll uh, get into that. 
Um, please call us at your earliest convenience to arrange for us to get copies. Uh, the guy suggested 25 copies as a starting order. You may speak to him or the other guy or myself about terms. We normally try to get at least 50% margin. If you need us to prepay in order for finance, finance printing, that can be arranged. Thank you for su your support as a customer and thanks for allowing us to offer your work for the rest of our best friends. Jim Hanley, blah, blah, blah. And I was beside myself when I got that letter. So excited. And then... This was my very first, I don't know if I can um, get that blocked out or not, <laughs> but this was my very first check from Jim Hanley's Universe, and it was for $25. That was my very first, I don't want to like show everything, but yeah, $25. That was my very first check from Jim Hanley's, and yeah, I had no idea. Um, I did submit this to Slave Labor too at the time because that was one of my favorite comic book companies. I'm very much into like um, goth and stuff at the time. Not so much anymore, but I do love it. And um, and they, they turned me down. They didn't turn me down like your work is crap. They actually encouraged me to keep going and resubmit because this format right here, this, the size, the, how I did it, they they didn't think they could sell it. I mean, like, if I had been a well-known person, then probably. But the way it was here, no, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even do it. So, yeah, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty excited how I got this into Jim Hanley's universe. So, what do you think? Should I redo it? Should I, um, I think I should. I think I should redo it. I'm thinking about redoing them and then just selling them on, um, my Etsy shop or something. I don't know. I thought about taking them and putting them like the sugar and spite, but these are like, this is just like one-offs. I, I like to do a lot of little one-off books and that's what this was. So I don't think it would, I don't think it would be good for, um, Kindle unless I grouped every one of them into Kindle. But yeah, leave me a comment. What do you think? Should I redo it? Uh, would you buy them? Would you, are you even curious about them? Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little stroll down memory lane and my little first success. So, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.